I'm gonna cut the middles out of these cookies. <laughs> Fabulous. Okay. For me, it's a lot of fall flair. Too much. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. In this video, I'm gonna be testing out five viral TikTok recipes that just so happen to be perfect for fall. Very fall vibes, kind of Halloween-y. I'm gonna be doing a couple of recipes with Chef Tony. I'm gonna do one with my assistant Zoe. And there's a couple of super kid-friendly recipes that I'm gonna do with Zaya. This first recipe that we're gonna be trying, Chef Tony and I, are apple donuts. And we are following at Faith's Fresh tutorial on TikTok. Shout out to Faith. They look good when she made them and it looks fairly simple, so. And I'm gonna say we're gonna follow it more or less because after I looked into it, a couple of things that I felt were missing. Oh, you're adding to Faith's yes, recipe? just tiny, tiny things. Faith's recipe is vegan and so she definitely uses a milk substitute and no eggs. Why, why vegan? <laughs> is it or isn't it? It's vegan. Okay. It's vegan. I feel like it'll come out better if we add just a little bit of sugar to the batter, a little bit of salt to the batter, and an egg. If you're okay with that, or an we can egg. just- An egg. An egg. Isn't that gonna change the whole texture of the better. batter? Yes. Okay. Because when you got batter and it's just like milk and flour, it's- I don't know, what do I know? There's also some other versions on the internet that use those things, so I'm not just pulling this out of my you know what. <laughs> okay. So you could start on the batter, cup of flour, a fourth cup of cornstarch, sugar, a little dollop. A little dollop of sugar? Yeah. So this is the part that you're making up? Yeah. Cool, perfect. Okay. A few shakes of salt. Perfect. Crack the egg on in there. Just wanna gradually add some of the milk and whisk it. What's the consistency yeah, like we're that, going after? Yeah, a little bit like that, but I want all the lumps out. I'm gonna get started cutting the apples into slices. So I'm just cutting the apples into, looks like maybe half inch slices. I've seen some people do it thinner and I've seen them do it thicker, but I'm just trying to be uniform. I'm gonna cut the middles out of these cookies. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is cut the middles out of these apples with a cookie core cutter. <laughs> cookie core. So give Get me that. the middle out of the apple, y'all. You could Duh. use a knife. You don't need to have one of these, but yeah. To get the all, because you don't want all that crunchy just, part. Punch it down in there. Then you got empty. See? Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, just put a, like a little sprinkle or two of cinnamon in the batter. Cool, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, and now we got a dip and dunk and fry. Let's see if a fork is the best way to do this. How many minutes per side do you think? Three, four minutes per side? Depends. Just check it and see if it looks golden brown on one side, and it didn't. <laughs> so let it go a little bit longer. So maybe about two minutes on each side. Once, once your oil, once your oil is, hot, is hot. fiercely hot, I feel like that's how you get a good, when you're trying to deep fry something, it has to be really hot mm -hmm. oil. But mm -hmm. also, another way to know it's done is when it stops bubbling so much, it's probably all the way done. Smell good. It smells kind of like funnel cake type vibes. I feel like they need a little drizzle. It is a little dry and sad without anything on top. I mean, I'm sure it tastes fine, but I think it would look better with some caramel drizzle that I just so happen to have in my fridge. Just a little bit for a presentation. Oh yeah, you know? I like that. Yummy. Ooh. So that was pretty easy. Would yeah, you? Yeah, that wasn't hard. Would was... you make them again? Let's see how they taste first. It's a good dessert. You I like thought it? it was gonna be crunchy on the outside, but the steam from the hot cooked apple mm. made the 
outside soggy. They were crispy when we first pulled them out, but when it sits there, I think the apple makes it soggy. But you were asking about whether or not the apple got cooked? Mine is cooked. Yeah, it's cooked. It's cooked, it's warm. It's giving apple pie, mm -hmm. apple fritter. The outside, it's not very flavorful. I think you could amp up the sugar and cinnamon in the dough. It's good. Not mind-blowingly good. Not like, OMG, I can't wait to finish it, but you know, cute, easy recipe. I would amp up the flavor to make it even more like decadent dessert. I think the caramel sauce is definitely doing something because mm -hmm. otherwise it would have been even more plain. You could really jazz this up. Serve it with a scoop of vanilla ice cream on oh, top. Oh, that like just put it in the middle of the plate and put a scoop of vanilla ice cream on top. You know, sprinkle some something on it. You know, jazz it up. What star rating would you give it out of five? Four. Really? <laughs> I would give it a 3.5. I mean, I'm giving it a four based on your All the vanilla, just this by itself and without the caramel sauce. Okay. Just the donut. The three donut five. by itself is a three. With mm. the caramel sauce, 3.5. With ice cream, four. It tastes healthy, so I'm gonna give it a 3.5. I mean, it was supposed to be like kind of a healthy vegan recipe originally. We already added stuff to it. Anytime you deep fry something though, it's like health goes out the window. Yeah, so might as well not try to be healthy, just make it good. You got some ice cream? No, you know it's a dairy-free <laughs> household. All right, this next recipe is another apple recipe, and it's inspired by the crowded kitchen, and it's called a thousand layer apple. We're be, using different little baby apples. Yeah, you have to put them in a ramekin, and we have only have tiny ramekins, so we're gonna make miniature. Chef vocab word of the day, ramekin. You start off by coring this time and peeling your apple. I don't know which comes first, the coring or the peeling, and coring is kind of tricky, so we'll try the coring first. Is that what you're supposed to use that for? Yep, kinda gotta just make a little hole in there and you can do this with a knife. But most peelers, this is a peeler, also double as corers. So then you just wanna punch that core out. Just get the seeds out after all the seeds are out. Then just peel it. I think just like the other recipe, you don't necessarily have to peel it, but we're gonna peel it because Crowded Kitchen peel theirs. A rough peel For the anyway. most, rough, rough, rough. You don't need to get every single bit of it out. This is a mandolin. Chef vocab word. Mandolin. And I'm gonna start off using my bare hands, but I don't recommend it. Do as she say, not as she do. Because I'm just trying to get to the right thickness because it's supposed to be super thin. Full. This is the tool you're supposed to use so you don't slice your doggone fingers off. You'll have to do it a couple times to get the apple flat and then it'll go, hopefully. Let's see how this comes out. And if they're not perfect. It's not working, you gotta press harder. There we are. Now that we got the right slice, they're super thin, you can almost see through them. Raven, you need to make the dipping sauce, the butter and brown sugar mixture. So melt that butter in the microwave and we're gonna add Half brown sugar and cinnamon. Yeah. Butter is melted. How tablespoon. Many? Just one tablespoon? Mm-hmm. That don't seem like enough. Say it, one tablespoon and then we Need the cinnamon. To my heart's desire or what? Yep, to your heart's desire. That's cool. Yeah. Take a slice, dip it. You're dipping and I'm slicing. I think that's about it. Now what you wanna do is mash it down. Squish, 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 and, and pour, pour it, it back, back in, in here. Pour, perfect. And now that one is ready to go in the oven. Why can't I just? Do them all? Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. Why can't I just? Why not? It's still getting coated. It didn't make it for a good TikTok, that's why. <laughs> yes. You do not need to dip it one by one. Okay, shortcut. Perfect. There we go. into the oven at 400 for 10 minutes. And then you bake it again with the puff pastry yep. on top.
Next, all you gotta do is cut out some little rounds of puff pastry, put them on top, roll it out a little bit because it gets really, really puffy, like that, just a little. Perfect, sit it on top, yep. Now while I'm doing this, I'll make the egg wash. That's just to keep it looking nice and brown and pretty and not so dry and crusty. Think of it as lotion for your puff pastry. One more thing we need to do. Poke, 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 poke. Just wanna very lightly coat the top with the egg wash. That's literally just egg, right? Yep, just egg. Some people do it with milk, but I like the egg. She said to use egg. I'm doing what she said to. Now they just go back into the oven for 20 minutes. They're boiling hot. Yeah, they're hot, hot, hot. So what you're supposed to do is let them cool down completely before you decant, before you unveil, before you depot. <laughs> we'll come back when they're cool and then we'll do the rest. Do the rest. We let them cool completely. Super cool. Gonna go around the edge with the butter knife to loosen it up. Okay, you just wanna, yeah. Okay, that's what you did. That didn't feel like anything, yeah. Now, if it don't come out this time. <laughs> you ruined it. Bad. You ruined it. It's not bad. We're gonna cover that up with ice cream. Yeah, it's gonna be ice cream. You take a nice little scoop of <laughs> dairy-free ice cream. Ruin this tool. There you go. Caramel oh yeah, drizzle. I like that, I like that. Oh yes, I love it. That looks really professional. <laughs> you think so? Yes. Let's make one for you, now that we have some practice. This one feels looser anyway. Aha, look at that. <laughs> okay. Then I'm gonna get a real nice rounded scoop. <laughs> you gotta, you know, form it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks a little bit more scoopish. Okay. Okay. Finishing touch. Yes. Yeah, now that's professional plating. <laughs> Taste test. In the TikTok, she said that apples should be custardy. Oh. So I'm interested to see the texture. I have a sneaking suspicion this is gonna taste just like the apple donuts. <laughs> it's like the it's same, the same ingredients. ingredients. Well, not really. We have ice cream, it's different texture. Sort of ice cream. Mm. This one's better. Really good. It is a similar, of course it's a similar flavor because it's apple, cinnamon, whatever and we put the same caramel on it, but this is what I thought the other one was gonna taste like, or what I hoped the other one would taste like, and it was kind of lacking, but this one it has more texture with the flaky puff pastry that actually is a little bit crispy underneath. Mm, and the super thin apples that are like an eighth of an inch thick. The apples are kind of custardy. It's like a nice, super soft, kind of creamy. Oh, the butter, that's the difference. Yeah. This is drenched in butter. <laughs> yeah, the butter makes a difference, I think. The texture of the apples is better, the texture of the puff, puff pastry is better, the butter makes it better, and the ice cream makes it better. This ice cream isn't bad. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Is this what you normally buy? Yeah, not a moo. It's not bad. Tastes just like ice cream, real ice cream. Mm -hmm. I give this one a, I give it a five. Five out of five stars. I give it a five out of five. Cause or, I can't think of how you would improve it. It was a little involved. I would not want to make more than four. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's harder to make, but it's worth the extra effort mm. compared to the other one. My mommy found this next recipe from Trinity Dre on TikTok.
back. We're making spider web pretzels. This has been super viral. I've seen it all over TikTok and Instagram, but I first saw it from my girl Trinity J. So we're gonna be using her video as our example. Okay, she said, start off with a cross shape and build your web from there. So that's how we're gonna lay out the pretzels. But first, we wanna get our melted chocolate ready. So this is the main chocolate. We're using white chocolate for the web, and this is the easy microwave kind. Mommy, sometimes I eat it just normal. Like sometimes when? Circle. When have you had access to a tub of melted chocolate? Or are you meaning you go in the pantry and you eat it out of the jar? I eat it out of the jar. <laughs> It's yummy. <laughs> now that our white chocolate is nice and melty, this worked really good. It only took a minute to melt. Grammy got us these little squeeze bottles because she thought it would be easy to use. And this is actually what Trinity used in her video too. Okay, let's put the top on carefully. Let's not topple over our hard work. Screw it on good. Nice and tight so it doesn't leak out. Let's start laying our pretzels out. Trinity said, start by making a cross shape, like a plus sign, not crisscrossing, but just next to each other. So it'll be kind of like this. We don't have very much space on this pan. Get a big we don't pan. need a pan. We just need a big worksheet. But they shouldn't need to be refrigerated to harden. Okay, you see how I did it? I did a plus and then I did a cross. Perfect. Okay, now the first thing we wanna do is put a big glob in the middle that, that holds them all together so they're not wiggling around. So I'll do one and you watch how I do it. Just like that, so it's touching all of them. Going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Make sure you're touching every pretzel. Squeeze it in the middle. There you go. Boom, we just want a small circle in the middle because we still gonna wanna make our web. So you see how I did mine? And last one. If you're gonna put sprinkles on top, you need the sprinkles to stick to the chocolate. So you wanna make sure you put the sprinkles while it's still nice and wet before it starts to like harden. Now for the web. You're doing a spiral, leaving space, cause that's what makes it look like a web. You want it to be like in lines like this until you get to the end of the pretzels. Boom. But wait, there's more. We need a toothpick. Cause what really is gonna make it look like a spider web is when you go like this. You start at the middle and you drag it down. Boop, boop. I feel like I need more. I'm afraid those lines aren't thick enough. Yeah. These might be too skinny. And sprinkles. I'm doing it super gentle. Cause we still wanna see the spider web. We don't want it to just be covered in sprinkles to where you can't see what it is. Okay, so this is cute and all, but I feel like it's way too thin to hold itself up. When I peel it off, I feel like it's not gonna hold. So for this one, I'm gonna try and make the lines juicier. So that juicy, juicy, juicy. it can be overall thicker. I think the mini ones are gonna hold up a lot better. Like they're gonna be stronger and sturdier and hold together. I don't know how these big ones are gonna like keep their shape. I feel like they're gonna be flimsy. And I feel like the mini ones are a better size. Like it's a nice little like snack size. That's looking pretty good. What do you think so far? Is it looking right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna set these to the side to kind of 
dry. This one's already, I think, starting to dry and harden, so I think they should harden without being refrigerated. In the meantime, I think we should melt some regular chocolate chips, and that way we'll have chocolate to make little spiders to put on. This is my own little idea. Haven't seen really anybody do this. Don't know how well it's gonna work. And I'm gonna add a little bit of coconut oil just to help it be melty. I'm gonna go ahead and melt these chocolate chips. I'm putting it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Okay, we got our melted chocolate. Can you help me scoop it down into this piping bag carefully? Okay, these have started to set up a little bit. They're not fully ready yet, but they will be soon. But I think they've set up enough for us to go ahead and try to put some little spiders on top without messing them up. I'm going to cut a small opening and I'm gonna put my spider kind of off to the side. I'm gonna start by doing his body and oh. then his head. And then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Can I make my spiders a little bit differently? How are you gonna make your spider? Like how I draw and make my spiders, I make a big circle. And then like on the most like bottom part, I draw legs. Okay, try it. This is not like a marker though, so. You're gonna be really careful with it. And if you lift up, it's gonna still be leaking, so careful with that. Did that work how you thought? No. <laughs> and I happen to have these little candy sprinkle eyeball things. So we could put eyes. That is a funny looking spider. This spider's gonna have three eyes. That one probably is the one that has space for it because the eyes are kind of big. <laughs> no, Abstract good. spider. This spider's gonna have one big eye. I don't think the baby spiders have space for the eyes. That's okay, they don't all need eyes. I'm gonna make this spider sprinkly because now that this is kind of dry, it'll only stick to the spider part and that'll be like a cool effect. Now we just wait for them to be completely dry. Okay, so I did end up popping these in the fridge just to help speed up the hardening process and to make sure that they were super set to give us the best possible chance at peeling these off. I went back and checked Trinity's video and I realized that she did a lot more spirals like closer together and kind of really layered it up, like kind of more like how these smaller ones look. So like this one, for example, I don't have much hope that we're gonna be able to peel it off, but let's see. Which one do you wanna start with? This one. You wanna try peeling it? No. No? You want me to do it? Just gonna carefully lift it off. Yeah, see I felt like this one would work. Boop. Ooh, I'm gonna try. Okay, this one worked. It looks good, right? Mm -hmm. Now this one might work, might not. Okay, I got most of it. Got it. Now this one, I'm not so sure. It looks pretty frail. Good enough. And now for the taste test. Cheers. Mine broke. Mmm, it's good. Sweet, salty, crunchy. Messy. It all starts shattering when you bite into it. What do you rate it? Out of five stars, five is the best. A hundred. A hundred, really? Is this the best thing you ever ate in your life? You're dropping it everywhere. Is this the best thing you ever ate in your life? No, it's not. You really think it's a hundred out of five? Mm-hmm. I give it a 4.5 out of five. You're sticking with your score? Okay. A hundred out of five. Now for this next recipe, we're going to do mommy hand pies. Now I'm gonna start opening up these puff pastries. But first, let it fall out for 30 minutes. Thaw out. Thaw out. Slide it out. 
Hopefully like, it's thawed enough. What does thawed mean? Thawed means it was frozen and we're letting it unfreeze a little bit. Open it up carefully. Take the, yeah, take those out. Next, we need to roll it out a little bit. Don't know how good it's gonna roll because it's not that evenly thawed. <laughs> it's already flat, but this is just to like compress it even more because puff pastry, as it says in the name, puffs up when you bake it. And we don't want these overly puffy. Roll it like you mean it. There you go. Okay, the next step is we are going to cut this piece into our main rectangles. That's gonna be like the mummy, you know? Straight. There you go. Can you help me gently separate them so they're not stuck together? And give them space on the pan to bake. Definitely. Now we're gonna set our base pieces to the side and for this piece, we're making the strips that go across. So we just need to cut strips. We're gonna make some that are just filled with Nutella, but some we're gonna make true to the recipe, which is with banana slices inside as well. So let's just slice up one banana. Okay, and then we have our just straight up Nutella. We're gonna do our filling and then we're gonna do our crisscrosses on top of the filling. We're gonna do some Nutella and just spread it, but I'm not gonna go all the way to the edge. I'm just gonna do like a little spread in the middle. Oh, it's so sticky. Since it's so sticky, you don't wanna mess up your rectangle or poke a hole in it. And you don't want it to touch the edges. Now, can you put bananas on top of those too? Just put a layer. Ah! <laughs> Clean up on aisle three. I am just transferring these to a fresh sheet because I don't want all this Nutella to just be burning in the oven. <laughs> that didn't work. Okay, now Zaya, I need you to do your amazing egg cracking skills and crack that egg into that bowl. What we're gonna do with that is you're gonna just dip a little bit. We just need a tiny bit. We don't wanna make scrambled eggs inside of our ham pies and we're just putting it right on the edge. You wanna brush it. So you just want a thin coat like that. Just enough like that, that's enough. We're gonna do it on every edge as the glue to make sure that the two layers stick together. Now for the creative part, we're making our mummy faces with the wrapping going all across it. So we're just kind of crisscrossing and we're gonna go back and cut off the extra that hangs over, so don't worry about that. You wanna leave it in nice strips so we don't want it to be like too stretchy. And you wanna leave like holes showing. You're supposed to go in and trim off all these extras. So basically you're like lining, you see how I'm lining up the cutter with the edge of this? And then I'm gonna cut just the extra tails off and we don't need that. So do it very carefully and slowly and look where you're cutting. There you go. Now take those edges off. While you're doing that, I'm gonna take a fork and press down the edges to make sure it's together. It kind of looks like an uncrustable, yeah. except the mummy shape. These look pretty good, what do you think? They look fabulous. Almost forgot, last step, we're gonna do egg wash over the top so they get nice and golden brown. So just a little light coat of egg. We don't want it super gooey and drippy. Now we need to put the mummies in the oven for 400 degrees to 12 to 15 minutes. Our mummy pies are out of the oven. They're looking nice and puffy and golden brown. Smell pretty good. Now to finish them off, 
We are going to add their eyes and we're gonna also dust them in powdered sugar. So I think we should dust them in powdered sugar first. That way we don't like cover up their eyes. And then the best way to do this is to tap the handle. Now for the eyes, the TikTok used these little like white chocolate melt things. I'm like just putting two right here. We still have chocolate in the piping bag. And I'm gonna do the pupils. <laughs> and kind of tuck it in there so it's like the, he's got his bandages on top of his eyes. Perfect, and then. Wait, mommy, can I make him a smiley? Help me make it thicker. <laughs> now it's time for the final taste test. Mm. Sounds like a good texture. Cheese. Oh. Dink it and sink it. What do you think about it? Yum. Can you describe it? It's like chocolatey, and crunchy, and yummy. It's not too sweet. I think we put the right amount of Nutella in there. The powdered sugar adds a little something to it. I and mean, I like the bananas. You can put like anything inside of here. You could do like the apple filling. Strawberry. Strawberry, it will kind of look like Orange. bloody. <laughs> Cherry pie filling. Orange. Orange. You think it would be good with oranges in there? In the oven? No. What rating do you give it out of five stars? 1,000. 1,000. I rate this. I think I'm gonna give this one a full five stars because it's actually really good. You mean 1,000. Okay, 1,000 stars. For this next recipe, I have my lovely assistant Zoe helping me, although this recipe is super easy. I saw this from Marianne B on TikTok. They are pumpkin shaped cinnamon rolls. So we're not really cooking anything because we have pre-made cinnamon rolls. Grand's Cinnabon. I mean, you could make cinnamon rolls from scratch, but why would you? No, you, you wouldn't. Why would you when you can just pop a can and it comes with the icing and everything? We are gonna add a little razzle dazzle by adding some pumpkin spice to the icing. Other than that, it's more about making the shape of the pumpkin with some string and then you stick a cinnamon stick inside for the stem. Pop the can, Zoe. That was not exciting, actually. <laughs> just, oh, it's <laughs> just, uh, they're not cut apart very well. No, they're not. Last time I tried to make cinnamon rolls, I left them in the oven for too long and I burnt them. How hard can it be? <laughs> I'm doing it so gracefully, but they're kind of stuck. Okay, obviously they come pre-rolled, but we want to make them into pumpkins by taking string. So like you just do like this. And I think you don't have to do it tight because it's going to expand. You're not trying to squeeze it into the pumpkin shape right now. Uh, you know, when I was a kid, my dad used to get cinnamon rolls from the bakery at a grocery store. It's a running, um, <laughs> a little, a little background context. We could be doing literally anything, <laughs> the most random thing. And Zoe will always say, when I was a kid, my dad. <laughs> <laughs> That's because my dad was always doing the random shit with me. And he's, he's gonna watch this video and he's gonna be like, oh, they're talking about me. He would buy the cinnamon rolls from the grocery store and I would eat them for breakfast like in like second grade, right? But then I started getting rashes from the cinnamon. Are you allergic to cinnamon? I think I might be, I don't really know. That would have been helpful to know I, I, eat, to... I eat cinnamon all the time, like I'm not gonna die. You have a if... few food allergies, I think, that you don't respect. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, tied up. They look rolls. really edible right now. And that's really it. Gotta pop them in the oven for the normal bake time, 25 ish minutes, and then we'll dress them <laughs> and taste them. <laughs> And 
voila. Beautiful baked pumpkin cinnamon rolls. Beautiful. They're a little um, burnt. I think because the foil kind of like amplified the heat and so they're a little toasty on the bottom. I mean, last time I tried to make cinnamon rolls, I don't think I used foil and they burned, like burned, burned. And I followed the instructions. Yeah, so I think the time <clears> on the <throat> tube is a little long. I took it out at like one. You took it out early. Three, yeah, I took it out early and they're still a little burnt. So do a few minutes less than what the can says, I guess. We need to cut off the strings and do our glaze and everything. Thing. So for the glaze, it's just adding pumpkin spice to the icing that they already give you. Maybe you can do that. Oh, thank you. Pumpkin spice it to your desire. And I'll start cutting these strings off. Yeah, I don't like how it like sticks. I feel like there's all these like fibers <laughs> in the cinnamon This roll might now. not be the right kind of string. There's like a different string what? that's less furry. And you didn't think to get that string? I, first of all, I wasn't the one who procured the string. Good point. Chef Tony. Good point. If I'll if, bring this up with Chef Tony. Yeah, take it up with the chef. But yeah, the, it is a little furry, but it's fine. It won't kill you. This is so unappetizing. Yeah. <laughs> Just like pulling the hair out of your butt crack. It's Yeah, those strings of poop on it. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> But yeah, if you serve these at a party, I feel like your guests would be like, oh, so cute, pumpkins. Yes. How'd you do that? That's the compliment I like to hear. How'd you do that? That makes me feel cool. They look fine. Just they don't look, look fine. Don't look too close. So we're gonna cinnamon stick them for the stem. I have these, which are really like fat, thick cinnamon sticks which I don't, I only have two of these like skinnier ones, which I think. Cut them in half. I think you need something pretty. Those, those scissors who can't even cut string. <laughs> I did cut them. It's more like shattered. And you put it in there. It might be easier to use a knife. Don't try this at home, kids. Oh boy. It's gonna like not break. There we go. Oh, okay. See, now we have Great. more pieces. Perfect. <laughs> You're so smart, Zoe. You just need a piece of cinnamon. You don't need a whole big old stick chunk of it, especially since we're wasting it because nobody's you gonna eat are. it. You are. You don't just eat cinnamon sticks. You could save it after. For what? Okay, no cute. That's cute. Okay. They, you, they are you cute. Can't, yeah. You can't deny the cuteness. Okay, and then we have our pumpkin spice glaze. So she was doing like this, which, you know, in real life, you probably want more than that, but it this looks better cute. when yeah. you don't drench it. Wow. Ooh, ah. Wow, look at our beautiful little pumpkins. Mm -hmm. They turned out cute. They, they do look cute. I think that would be really cute for a little fall brunch. Mm -hmm. They get together. Taste test. <laughs> it's also just a cinnamon roll that we didn't even um, It's so crunchy. Scratch, and it's burnt, so. <laughs> <laughs> taste test, not really, wasn't expecting much. And it tastes exactly how I thought it would taste, like a slightly burnt <laughs> store-bought cinnamon roll with a little extra fall flair because we put pumpkin spice in the... For me, it's a lot of fall flair. <laughs> too much? <laughs> I'm choking on the fall flair. Is it too much fall flair for you? It might be. Well, you're allergic to cinnamon. <laughs> I'm maybe allergic to cinnamon. We're gonna keep rolling for 20 minutes and see what happens. <laughs> I like the extra fall flare. Yeah, no, I like it. Other than that, it would be better if I didn't burn them. If they were nice and soft and gooey. And like this. I kind of like the crunch. It's not like a good crunch though. It's like hard and burnt. It's not like crunchy and crispy. Same thing. Teach their own. I would rate this overall, the effort that goes into it, the final result, the taste if we didn't burn them. <laughs> I would rate it like a 3.5 out of five. Two out of five. Two? Too much work. Not worth it. Mm -mm. But they are cute. That's why, I mean, they turned out cute. It was a lot of work, but they are cute. So that's why I gave it a 3.5. Something fun to do with kids. I feel like a kid could do that. It would be fun with kids. Just too much work. Is that the end? How does, how does this video end? Just that? Yep. Okay. 